Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a cassette in Bear Blue Design. So this is our tree in which I have created the references in which I have created the extrude, extrude one, extrude two, extrude three. Okay, by using the, this tree extrude, we have created the offset and so this is how offset look like. Okay, so this is our offsets and I have created one trim by using those offset so it's a trim and provided the edge fillet on this so right now the whole, the latest the final operation is this which is the edge fillet now we have to create a cassette so it will be going to under uh, this geometric set which is a feature so how to uh, i'm going to show you two methods to create a cassette the first one is quickest and easiest method and the second one is uh, second method is also important but it is for the uh, better drawability okay so i'm going to insert a geometric set here i'm going to click no okay so the method is first method so i'm going to just click here one and you're able to see i'm just going to unhide the our reference surface you can use the plane over here i'm going to use a 50 mm distance we just going to increase the more 100 I'm going to click ok I'm going to hide okay so we have to use intersect over here intersect with the offset plane now i don't require offset plane i'm going to hide this just going to click here i want this curve so that's it. I'm going to hit again. Now I have to create one point at the mid of this radius. That's why I created intersect and selected this. I'm going to choose point, click the on the curve, select the midpoint, and click OK. Now I have to create a one line over here. Okay, so I'm going to use the line command. Click on the point. Okay, select the point and direction. For the direction, direction will be x. So I'm going to direction on x. Put the value here. So you can put value 100 or 50 or whatever you want. Click on the mirror extend and just click over. Okay. Okay. Now we, you have uh, we have to create another line. So you have to go to the line. Click over here. Select angle normal to curve. Okay. Now you can use the curve. The, uh, the line we have already created then choose the point and select the support you can choose support x y also or you can use this offset from which we have created the intersect so just click over here okay now here you can modify the angle so i'm going to put 45 degree first to click preview okay so so he, uh, here uh I, we don't require this vertical line as well as this curve and this point no so the important method is here you have to create one parallel curve okay just click on the curve select the support and opposite side you have to click the you have to create a parallel curve okay the reason being when you create one cylinder or sweep over here circular so uh, we don't require too deep so it will uh, it will uh, it will create a problem for draw ability so we are going to use sweep for here okay in sweep you have to go to the profile profile type which is the third one in third one you have to select on the subtype in there the fourth one setter and it is you have to click over here select the parallel curve okay put the distance here radius is 15 and click here preview and select the ok now we don't require the line also and we don't require parallel curve so i'm going to hide which we don't require ok so this is how we create one cylinder or sweep now i'm going to now i use the trim operation I'm going to first select the edge fillet and then sweep so i i want the other side that's why i'm going to click on the other side i'm going to click ok 
so I'm going to use age fillet over here and put the value which is 15 or 10 which way you want I'm going to put the 15 so here you are able to see uh, this is how we create a gusset if you want this gusset a little bit deep so you have to just reduce this offset dimension so you can able to update quickly okay what if I want this gusset angle which is uh, right now is 45 but I want 30 so you are able to see I'm going to put in in the uh, Z so you are able to see this is a exactly 45 degree if you want 30 you, you, you just click over here change the angle of the line which we have already created by using this just update so you will to see this is the simplest and quickest method to update any uh, this cassette now the second one which is going to help for the drawability so I'm going to copy the same set and going to paste over here okay I'm going to change its name properties second okay I'm going to use the same method just uh, just going to reverse the direction of that set I'm going to update here so and deleting this that we want to put okay so i i also don't require uh, this sweep so i'm going to delete the sweep okay i'm just going to keep the parallel curve okay so i'm going to put it again in a side view so you are able to see the, the same method I use. I'm going to show you again what what I have done. And I have created this offset in opposite direction. Again, created one intersect. Yeah, again, still created this extra. Okay, again created at point at mid of that curve. Okay, created one vertical line and again created one inclined line and from that inclined line I have created one parallel curve. I just save the time because to create this whole operation again it will cost me a time so I just show you how to quickly just copy paste uh, you can use this copy paste method to uh, create a, an, one extra bit over here okay right now we're going to focus on the second method so in the first method we uh, what we done in the first method we in the first method were we have kept this parallel curve uh, in opposite direction of the our fillet okay so in the first method we have created one curve here but we put our parallel curve away from our main part okay but for the second method what we have to do we have here is our part okay and here is our main line so our parallel curve should be inside of that our part okay so let me explain again and show you so i'm going to reverse direction and put the value here 10 tentatively okay so you are able to see in uh, in a uh, side view so I just put the parallel curve over here okay right now I'm going to put again in a little bit deep so you are able to see now I'm going to use the sweep command okay in sweep we have to put the profile type on second okay and click on the subtype so which subtype with a drop direction so here you have to click on the curve okay and put the drop direction will be a y so i'm going to put the drop direction y so here you have to provide angle so i'm going to provide the angle 45 okay and just click on the here preview so you have to increase the length one and length two just click over here and select the ok 
okay right now why i choose the y direction because you are able to see here so when you are going to create a second bid over here you have to choose the di direction in the front this one my arrow direction so you are able to see the arrow direction is y that's why i choose the y now we have to create a second sweep so again we have to click over here on the sweep command okay select the curve select the direction which is y okay and choose the arrow correctly and select on the preview click to here okay so so you are able to see this is how we have created now we have to use the trim so first and second so here you are able to get the value trim now you have to use fillet just click over here put down the value 15 use the trim and provide the fillet okay so this is how you can add, uh, so there is a difference between this so this one is used uh, for the battle draw ability so if i'm going to change the angle is 45 so you will to see this one is uh, smoother than the first one okay so if i want a little bit deep so i can use this method instead of the first one because uh, this method gives me a, a angle which carries to flow the material in the part so you are able to see if i uh, increase this and just the fillet so you can able to get a little bit deep gusset with uh, better material flowability so i hope you understand this method and don't forget uh, don't forget to like this video and please share with your friends also thank you